Nom Nom Pita, located off Collins Avenue, specializes in Middle Eastern and North African cuisine. So growing up in the Muslim community, our palates and our food experiences have always been very diverse. So we grew up with people from Malaysia, from Africa, from the Middle East. And so we like a lot of different kinds of food. And then we studied abroad. I lived in Canada for about nine years. And being abroad, there are so many options. You can go to the corner and get Lebanese, you can get Turkish, you can get Armenian. But coming back to the Bahamas, the food palette, the food scene, um, needed a little bit of diversification and that's why we decided to focus on Middle Eastern and North African food. So if you look at our weekly highlights and our standard menu in general, you're going to see food from Lebanon, from Turkey, from Syria, um, from Morocco. My husband is Moroccan. So you know we bring together all of these different flavors and herbs and spices and put a little bit of a Bahamian twist on it to make it you know more familiar and that's the kind of food we serve at Nom Nom. They use fresh, high-quality ingredients that are sourced locally. So my brother is a farmer, and so he works with other farmers like Agrogate Bahamas, and then he also started a company called uh, Mata Fungus, and they sell gourmet oyster mushrooms. And so we have featured a lot of gourmet oyster mushrooms locally grown on our menu, and it's amazing to have these kind of fresh, high-quality ingredients. The crispy mushrooms are great. They're amazing in the mushroom burger. Um, we've also worked with another local farmer, called, her name is Zakita. Um, she sells lettuces, she does beets, um, and a fresh beet is very different from a beet that you get out of a can or even a beet from a supermarket. Um, we also try to grow a lot of our own herbs. Um, you can see the, the planters. We have mixed success with growing our own, and so right now we are still a lot relying quite a bit on um, our local farmers and our local wholesalers, but as much as possible we, we try to be farm to table. At first, customers were skeptical, but now the Nom Nom Clan's palette has significantly expanded. First of all, it's a bit of an experience. People are a little apprehensive, um, and so it's really important that the staff are able to explain to them, you know, what are you feeling for today, you know? And then as they get into the menu, at first they might try, okay, I'm just going to try the Kufta burger. It's, a, it's something I know, um, it's familiar. And then it's like, okay, I'm going to experiment a bit more. Let me try the shawarma. And now people are confidently ordering, yeah, I need the falafel and the makuta, please. Like, you, you guys speak Arabic almost at this point. Um, and then we've had some events at night um, called Nom Nom at Night. Um, and we had Indian night, South Asian night. It was amazing, um, a huge event. Um, but we decided to pause on those for a little bit because they're a little bit too big for us right now. Uh, but we're looking to grow back into the Nom Nom at night. Uh, so the people that love Nom Nom really love Nom Nom. And um, we're looking forward to sharing more of that food with everybody else. To combine the talents of the family, Nom Nom Pita was founded. So Nom Nom Pita got started as a way to combine the talents of myself and all of my siblings. So I'm an industrial engineer. I think about systems and businesses. My sister Sakina is a chef and then my brother Shomi Khan is a farmer. So we wanted to bring together all of those talents in a way that I guess benefited the family and this is how Nom Nom Pita got started. So we're a real family business. The company is committed to improving its products and services in order to better serve its customers. Right now, I think we, we would love to bring on an additional chef. Um, my sister is lead in the kitchen right now, but we do need an additional person. I think that once we are a bit more established, we will lean more into distribution. So our hummus, our labna, our baba ganoush, our lo so local dips and spreads that you can buy in the food store, we would like to provide them. Uh, we're also thinking about potentially another location closer to where our client base is, which is west. Um, maybe looking at an airport kiosk or moving to the port. So there are a lot of options that we're considering right now, but our main focus is on refining the product, making sure that our delivery system and methods are um, where they need to be, and basically making Nom Nom the best restaurant it can be. Access Accelerator took a chance that greatly paid off. Well, I started with the Access Accelerator almost, I want to say, three years ago. Um, I started in the program, so the six week training program, and then I went through, I got a mentor to help me refine my business plan, and then I went um, to the investment committee. Um, Access Accelerator has been very helpful in accessing capital as a young Bahamian. 
Um, I'm 35. My sister is, I think she's 32 or 33. Um, it, it's very difficult for us to get access to capital to open a business. But the Small Business Development Center took a risk on us. Um, we presented our business plans, they believed in our product, and they provided the financing to open Nom Nom Pita. And so without SPDC, we wouldn't be here. For people with startup ideas and established businesses, Access Accelerator comes highly recommended. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend the SBDC no matter what stage uh, your business is in. If you are at the just the ideation stage, then they have resources to help you refine your business plan. If you are like me, you had a business plan, um, their mentors can come in and say, this is what you need to really get investment. Um, if you are an established business, they can also help you with additional services like um, accounting training, um, some marketing training, taking your business to the next level training. So Access Accelerator is an amazing resource for business. Reporting for Bahamas at Sunrise, I'm Annalise Thompson.